How are we doing, Sub 30? Are we good? You feeling good? You look good. Hey, let's stand to our feet real quick, all over the auditorium. Stand to our feet. And I just want you to hold two hands out like, yeah, like you're about to receive something. Man, I just want us to lift our hands before we get into God's word tonight. How good was worship tonight, man? It was great. I love our team. Just hold your hands out like that. I want to pray for us before we get into it tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we love you. God, we thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit, Lord. Where would we be if not for your grace and your Holy Spirit in our life? Lord, we thank you for what you've already done in our life, God. If we never heard another message, if we never came to another service, Lord, we could praise you for all of our days based on what you've already done. But Lord, we know that tonight you have something still that you want to do. And and so, God, we choose to lean our ear towards heaven, Lord. And I pray tonight we would not be just doers of your word, but are not hearers, Lord. Let us please be doers of your word. God, we love you and we thank you. I thank you for every single individual right here, Lord. I don't know what they're going through and I don't know where they've come from, but God, I pray tonight that your Holy Spirit would encounter them, God, that you would smack straight in their face the promise of God that you have over their life. Lord, that they would receive it, God, that the plans and the purposes that you have set before them, before the foundations of the world, God, that they would begin to make sense and they would begin to come clear in our life, Lord. I pray that in this decade of life, Lord, between 20 and 30 years old, where we're at, God, and it seems like, God, we can we can struggle the most in these times. God, some of the times are really great and some can be very confusing, but I pray that your word would continue to be the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path, God. And Lord, we just, we focus on you tonight. Jesus, we're not here for anything else other than you and your presence, God, and I pray your presence would fall in this place tonight. Lord, we love you. And so, Lord, with arms extended in front of us, God, I pray that you would deposit something special, unique, miraculous, and supernatural into our hearts and lives and minds tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said amen. Amen. You can put your hands together and you can be seated. I want to welcome all of our first-time guests. If you're visiting Sub 30, my name is Pastor Clay. I'm actually the youth pastor here. Um, I'm the fuse pastor here at Celebration Church. And uh, Pastor Josh and uh, Pastor Layton, as a matter of fact, they've been in Oklahoma City uh, for the last few days. And uh, they have seen all of what has taken place out there. And um, their flights were a little bit delayed coming back tonight. So I get the, uh, the privilege of preaching the word to you. I'm always excited. If you have your Bible, you can go ahead and open it up to the book of 2 Timothy. We're going to get there in just a minute. 2 Timothy is where we're gonna go. Hey, who loved, um, man, last week was awesome at Sub 30. Who loved the food trucks? Last week at Sub, Ian, you loved the food trucks. You sure did. The food trucks, they were an incredible idea on, until about 3 a.m. and then they, uh, they were not incredible. I wanted to die, as a matter of fact. Um, Mom always said, don't eat nothing out of the, the truck. So food, that was the ice cream truck. That's what it was. Um, so anyways, if it comes out of a truck, I'm no longer eating it. Uh, I paid the price last week. But it was a good night at Sub 30. And uh, tonight's going to be a good night, I'm sure. In 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2 is where we're going to be. Starting in verse 15. And I just want to read a, a little bit of scripture tonight. And then we'll, we'll go on from there. But it says this, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. It says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. So next time you think about gossiping, you can just remind yourself of that. Uh, More and more ungodly they will become those who indulge in godless chatter. Now skip down to verse 21 and 22 is where I really want to focus our time. And it says this, those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. Flee the evil desires of youth. Everyone say flee. Come on, you got to say it like you mean it. Y'all know I'm like, like, like Josh is a good preacher. Josh is a phenomenal preacher. I'm just a little bit more Pentecostal than Josh. And so um, you can, you could shout, but when I say, hey, say flee, you got to say it like you mean it. All right. So say flee. Come on now, somebody. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue, I love that word, pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Tonight, if you're taking notes, I've entitled this message, The Running Man. 
the running man. And the fact of the matter is, is that tonight, every single person in this room, sub 30, we are all of us runners. We're all runners, we're all running. And tonight we're gonna look at what we are either running from or running to. That's what we're gonna look at. We're running, we're runners tonight in the room. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what are you running to? It's an important question that we need to ask ourselves tonight. Father, let your word speak to us tonight, I pray in Jesus' name. There's no other book like the Bible, Lord, and we open up tonight with expecting hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, um, have you ever in life, have you ever uh, been chased by something? Like, have you ever, do you, do you know what it feels like to be chased by someone or something? Like, have you ever ran away from something because you thought it was out to get you? It was chasing you. It wasn't giving up. It was following you. It was after you. Uh, you need to know what that feeling is like if you've never felt it before. Like, for me, for instance, before I married my wife, Bethany, who's down here on the front row. You look, you look good tonight, babe. Thank you. Uh, before I married Bethany, like before I was married, my whole life was a chase. You know what I mean? Like the, the women always be chasing me, y'all. They was always. Why y'all like, y'all don't even know the struggle. Y'all don't know the struggle. Chase. Have you ever been chased by something? Maybe, maybe you've been chased by a person. You've been chased by an animal. Perhaps you've been chased by a car. Who's been chased by the police? Anybody ever been chased by the police? Popo on your tail. You know what I mean? Like. You've been chased, you know, you're, you're running, you know, popos on your tail. They're like, stop, you, you keep running, drop, you know what I mean? Shut them down, open up shop, what? What y'all know about DMX? Y'all shouldn't listen to that music. Hey, um, but I think the majority of us, we know what that feels like to, uh, to be chased by something. When I was in high school, um, me and my friends, we would uh, often get bored, and I think it was a Friday or Saturday night, and me and my high school friends, I don't know, we were probably in 11th grade, might have been seniors, but um, I want you to know there is nothing more dangerous on the planet than bored high school boys, okay? When high school boys get bored, they get into trouble. And so me and my friends, we were sitting around like on a Friday night, and we thought to ourselves, what can we do? We're bored. Let's get out. Let's do something. It's already dark outside. And, and so we're tossing out ideas, and one of my friends, he comes up with this idea. He says, dude, let's just, let's just go egg some houses. Let's just go, see, some of you, you know, you've been there. Um, let's go egg some houses, and we're thinking, all right, you know, whatever. Like, but that's been done before. How can we take it to the next level? That's what me and my friends were all about, the next level. We're on another level. Um, how can we take it to the next level? And so we, we decided, here's what we'll do. This is a great idea. We'll drive in the car, and we'll roll down all the windows on the left side of the car. And we'll take the eggs, and as oncoming traffic is coming on the other lane, we'll time it perfectly, and so we'll grab the eggs, and one, two, three, and just as the car's passing us, bat, 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 and we'll just hit it with eggs. It's a beautiful idea. So sure enough, we don't, don't do this, you know what I mean? Like, I'll lie and say I never told you this. Um, so here we are, and we, we got this idea started, and we're in the car, and, and we're driving, and, and all of a sudden, here comes the first car, and it comes, and one, two, three, throwing eggs out the window, bam, 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 bam. It's amazing because, you know, it's like you're doing 50 miles an hour. A car can't really turn around that fast. And once you hit them, you just gun it and you're gone. Never going to find you again. This is an idiot-proof plan. <laughs> or so we thought. Um, so we hit a few cars and we're thinking, man, this is incredible. And then all of a sudden we look down the road and, and here we see another uh, a vehicle coming. Only this one only has one headlight. We're saying, is it, is it a car with a busted headlight? And we, quick re, we, we realize quickly, no, no, it's a motorcycle. Now, the game just got serious, y'all. <laughs> it went from cool fun to this is serious. You cannot miss the guy on the motorcycle. <laughs> so this guy's coming on his, on his Harley Davidson. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about motorcycles. Uh, he's coming on his motorcycle, and sure enough, we got the eggs in the car, and one, two, three, and just... Boom, bow, 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 and we hear it hit. We're just like, oh my God. We're just, and we just, and here we are, and we're just off. Only we didn't think that, hey, at 40 miles an hour, it's a little bit easier for a motorcycle to turn himself around. And so we look back, and we're like, oh, this is so much fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so here we are, and we're, we're freaking out. The motorcycle has turned around. I grew up in Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, we lived on an island. It's called James Island. And uh, this motorcycle turned around, and it's not a very big island, and, 
And he literally chased us all around the island for about 45 minutes. Here he is chasing us, and we're trying to ditch him and lose him and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Finally, we think we lost him. We turn into this gas station, and we were like, man, that was, oh my gosh, this, can't believe we, I mean, he was going to kill us. He was definitely was hell's angels, I'm sure. He was going to kill us. And, and so we're, we're sitting there, and we're outside the car, and all of a sudden, here he comes. He's found us, and he pulls in to the gas station. He pulls right up to our car, and so here, me and like four other guys, and you know, you're trying to act like you meant to be at this gas station at 1130 at night, you know what I mean? And so we're just kind of like, hey, what's going on, man? And we're just walking around, and I'm sure we look, you know, conspicuous and here he comes and, and he comes up to us and he's he's dressed out in leather and black and the whole deal and he has this helmet on and he walks up to us and he's like hey hey you guys and you know we act like he's not talking to us we're the only ones there you know and <laughs> and he comes up to us hey 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 and finally it's like he's right here we're like yeah yeah what what, what, what do you want man and he takes his helmet off and when he takes his helmet off there is egg dripping <laughs> down his face so now I'm like yeah yeah I just can't hold it in you know he's like hey I saw you guys I knew you were the ones egg me in the face and we just denied man dude it wasn't us man there's a lot of Jeep Cherokees on this island I don't know but just it, it wasn't us man and he was oh man he was up in our face and he was about to kill us and, and we just made something up and we got out of there but dude I thought that was going to be the night I got destroyed by hell's angels like that was it it was scary being chased. There was another time, me and my friends, and for those of you who are, who are into woods and hunting, was anyone ever go through the paintball phase? And anyone ever, guys, like I went through the paintball phase. And so me and my friends, one of the guys, he owned a piece of property, and it was kind of like out in no man's land. And we were out there one night, again, bored high school boys. We had our paintball guns loaded up. It's early in the morning, like, like late at night, pitch black dark. And he lived by, you know, this road where every now and then cars would drive by and stuff. And so we decided, here's what we'll do. We'll go out by the road. We're camoed out. We got face paint on and everything. And we thought we were Rambo. And here we are, and we're like sitting down next to the road and we're like okay when cars drive by we'll just be crouched down next to the road and we'll just tap 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 in the middle of the night and so sure enough man cars will start coming down the road and here we are crouched down and tap 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 and they would always slam on their brakes I mean I'm sure they don't know what in the world is going on but I mean you're out in the middle of nowhere it's late at night so very few cars would ever stop you know you don't know what that was you're afraid to get out of the car and so you don't know what's going on all of a sudden, here we see this big truck coming, and we could tell it was, it was jacked up truck. It was lifted up, and it's coming. We're like, dude, this is great. This is the best night of my life. You know, we're just having so much fun. It comes, and all of a sudden, pat, 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 pat. And sure enough, we're like, oh, yeah, dude, good shot. And he slams on his brakes, and then he puts reverse lights on. He backs up, and so now we're like, oh, no, you know, and so... We're running back, and, but, it, but it, was, it was the fall season. Leaves were on the ground, so you can't, when he gets out of the truck, you gotta stop running. You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta go stealth mode, okay? You gotta stop, there's leaves, and so we get down on our face. He gets out of the car, and we can just see by moonlight, we can see shadows and stuff. Reaches into the bed of his truck, and starts walking into the woods. <laughs> 